Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, during this week I added uh, new functionality into Sparrow uh, support for LLM agents. And this means that you could uh, implement easily different agents inside Sparrow with different LLM functionality and run those agents separately or maybe call one agent from another and so on. So, uh, yeah, and, and the agent invocation would work uh, either from command line or from the API through the fast API endpoint. So here is the example uh, for the agent uh, which runs uh, with Llama index. So to invoke Llama index agent, uh, you either just execute uh, the command without agent flag. Llama uh, index is, de is the default agent, or you set explicitly minus minus agent and Llama index, and then Llama index agent will be picked up and. Uh, uh, inference will be executed uh, with the model as per configuration and you would get back the response like that. Another example, if you specify a minus minus agent, for example, haystack, then uh, agent with haystack functionality will be invoked and uh, all the steps will be executed and then you also at the end would get back the JSON response. You may implement your own agent in Sparrow. Maybe you don't want to return any JSON. Maybe you want to do some uh, some uh, another backend task, for example. So you 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 it's up to you. You can do anything. And just to show a few things how it's being uh, how you would need to set it up and how uh, you would be should run new agent. What you basically need to do is uh, first you need to pay attention to the config file. So here's the configuration for Llama index uh, agent and here's configuration for the haystack. So we have uh, specific uh, properties that are uh, specific to the agent functionality implementation with haystack. We have those properties listed in config. Uh, other specific properties for the Llama index are under Llama index group and so on. Uh, like in this case, for example, we are using the same LLM for both. Uh, Starlink LLM is being used uh, for both uh, agents, uh, for Haystack and for Llama Index, and then some other parameters like the specific um, Haystack parameter split length and split uh, overlap, for example, or max loops allowed uh, for Haystack. So those are specific for this agent. And then there are certain parameters that are specific for Llama index, like VAV at URL, uh, index name, chunk size, and, and, and uh, maybe any other parameters if you would add in the future. Okay, and this is a central script engine, and this is a generic entry point. So whenever you either call through uh, API or through the command line, always request goes through the engine. And here we read... Uh, agent uh, name which is passed through the parameter uh, and based on the agent name we call method get pipeline from the interface this is the uh, python interface where we decide uh, which agent will be invoked uh, in kind of in generic way so here uh, we pass the agent name and then we do import of that agent uh, uh, that we are executing right now. So we're not uh, importing uh, agent if this agent is not invoked. So in, we're invoking, importing agent, uh, the one which is executing right now. All right, so we get back the pi rack pipeline and then on top of rack pipeline, we call method, generic method, run pipeline here. All right, and here's the method run pipeline and then it uh, gets a certain set of parameters and uh, basically uh, uh, those parameters are generic and they'll be reused across all the agents. Uh, some of them are optional so you don't need to set the value if this parameter is not used in specific uh, agent for example. So then we do run pipeline and actual implementation of the run pipeline from the agent executes and uh, uh, implements the logic. So if you take a look into the, uh, for example, haystack, uh, we scroll up, there's a haystack pipeline class which uh, extends from the pipeline interface and pipeline interface is our interface that uh, we saw a moment ago. And we implement here as you can see this sign, we implement the uh, abstract method from the interface run pipeline with the same set of parameters as defined uh, in the interface. And then all the logic goes here.
The same goes for Llama index. We also import uh, from the interface, we get the pipeline, we extend our class from the pipeline, and we implement the abstract uh, run pipeline method with the predefined set of parameters. Okay, so to keep it simple, basically this is the uh, agent implementation in Sparrow, and the main idea is that you now not constrained to the single implementation of the rack. Uh, you can build in Sparrow different tracks, compare them, maybe run sequentially, and uh, maybe there'll be uh, maybe you, uh, there'll be new uh, agent with just with OCR, for example, functionality, uh, which uh, gets uh, raw text data, and then it should pass this text data to another agent, which will do LLM and so on. So there are many options and many possibilities. So thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye.